learners welcome to my class i am dr ornima bora from the discipline of education kk handik state open university so uh, here uh, i am going to discuss uh, unit 3 uh, from paper teacher education that is pzed s303 and the unit 3 is pre service and in service teacher education and this is part 1 and in this part uh, we will discuss about pre-service teacher education, its importance and significance, uh, etc. So, mainly teacher education system, you have uh, already learned in the unit 1, uh, there is uh, very much important, the teacher education is very much important in our present day education system because uh, in the previous days, in the ancient time, uh, all we know that the education system was totally based on uh, teacher-centered. Teacher-centered education system was continued and teacher was all in all in that type of education system but gradually uh, our education system has been changed with the help of psychology with the help of sociological knowledge with the help of uh, different uh, views philosophy uh, use of princ philosophical principles psychological principles in the field of education our now our education system has become the child-centric education system so in this child-centric education system education gives importance on the all-round development of the child therefore uh, the role of teacher has become very complex to perform such role at a time teacher has to train teacher has to acquire knowledge teacher has to acquire skills therefore this training system the teacher on considering such importance in the field of education uh, regarding the teacher the teacher education has emerged in the field of education system so that the uh, skillful the professional teachers the knowledgeable teachers can be produced so that they will able to produce or they will able to develop human resources for our entire society so uh, come to the learning objectives uh, in this unit uh, you all will be able to know the concept of pre-service and in-service teacher education programs then secondly the need and importance of teacher education programs then the different types and organizations of teachers education programs so one of the important unit in this paper next come to the presentation outline i have already mentioned that while i am going to discuss this unit i have divided the unit into two parts so this is the first part of this unit and in the first part here I will discuss with you, first of all, the concept of pre-service teacher education. Secondly, what are the objectives of pre-service teacher education? Then, the last one, the need and importance of pre-service teacher education. So, these are the discussion topic of this class. Now, we will discuss about the concept of pre-service teacher education so what is pre-service teacher education i have already mentioned that teacher education program is divided into two parts one is pre-service one is in service so pre-service it means before entering into the teaching profession someone meets some criteria some qualification Say for example, for the pre-primary stage, there is different kind of required qualification for a teacher. In the secondary stage, there are different kind of qualification that are needed for the teachers. In the higher stage, there are different type of qualifications are required on the part of teacher or in entering into the teaching job. So, 
along with those qualifications qualifications degree diploma no doubt this is very important to enter into the teaching job but along with those required qualification of a teacher teacher needs some skills teacher needs the knowledge practical knowledge how to handle a classroom situation because in a classroom situation the at a time one teacher has to deal with many more students and every students every individual are differ from each other differ from each other means from psychological point of view if we see every students are different in the in case of their giving attention in case of their interest in case of their uh, abilities in case of their capabilities in the different uh, psychological from from the psychological aspects if we see then we will find that as a teacher it is very difficult to handle this practical situation the teaching learning process it is very much difficult because at the time he has to give importance he have to, he has to give attention to each and every students we, uh, which are differ from each other therefore going into the teaching profession one has to make himself one has to prepare himself with full of skills with full of strategies with uh, full of uh, required qualification with full of uh, or with mastery of knowledge of the particular subject that he or she is going to teach to the students so all these requirement with all this requirement when a teacher enters into the practical field then we can expect that the educational aims and objectives will be fulfilled so how such a requirement for teaching profession will be fulfilled how such requirement will be acquired by a particular teacher before entering into the teaching profession so in this circumstances in such situation the training program are arranged are organized to give them practical knowledge along with the theoretical knowledge of the teaching learning process and such training programs are called pre-service teacher education program so pre-service teacher education is a guide and uh, supervise the uh, teacher uh, student teachers to handle the every coming situation in his or her teaching profession so this is a brief concept of pre-service teacher education here i am uh, mentioning definitions regarding the pre-service teacher education which are given by wiley and medician they have stated that sending into school unsuitable persons badly trained can be as harmful to school children as any shortage of teacher so this is very true so we cannot send a person which is unsuitable which is wrong for the students so i i have already mentioned that that our education system is student centered our education system is child centered therefore the education will suit all round development of the children so when some particular individual will uh, able to achieve able to handle the situation and able to achieve these broad aims and objective of education such kind of people should be recruited as a teacher in the teaching profession so teaching badly or teaching wrong may be more harmful than no teaching so that is why there is a need to properly implement the pre-service teacher education program to prepare the teacher to teachers their complex functioning satisfactorily so i hope students you are able to clear the concept about pre-service teacher education then i have mentioned here and or i am going to discuss here about the objectives of 
pre-service teacher education program. What are the objectives? With some objectives, every programs are organized in the field of education. So, pre-service education definitely has its some uh, aims and objectives. So, first objective is what? The pre-service teacher education program uh, is to develop an individual who can contribute for the development of the society, development of the entire nation, development of the nation and at a time builds the human resources. So this is one of the most important objectives of pre-service teacher education program. Then the next objective of teacher education is to provide proper understanding regarding the aims, objectives of education, develop proper understanding on the basic principles of child growth and development. This is very important as a teacher. Teacher has to uh, know uh, about the different characteristics of growth and development of an individual. So, according to their developmental stage, teacher has to teach. Teacher has to uh, prepare his lesson. Teacher has to prepare his presentation. Teacher has to make his uh, strategy. Therefore, this is very important to understand the basic principles of child growth, which is uh, trying to provide by pre-service teacher education program. Then another uh, objectives of teacher education is to enable the prospective teachers to plan, to present, to select and organize the subject matter in a proper way so that so that the students can learn easily the next one the fourth objectives of teacher education is to provide a ground where the teachers can practice their skills learn meaningfully and develop their confidence so confidence is the key factor uh, as a teacher uh, so that uh, they can able to achieve the aims and objective of education. So, uh, teacher, pre-service teacher education provides to develop the opportunity to develop the confidence of our upcoming teachers. Then, other objectives of pre-service teacher education program is to develop communication and promote skills and abilities conductive to human relation or interacting with children in order to promote learning in them both inside and outside the classroom. The last objective uh, is to develop understanding, to develop interest, attitude, skills which would enable to promote all-round development of children under his or her care. So these are some objectives we have discussed and this is very much relatable with our practical situation because uh, our uh, child development, the development of the child, the all-round development of the individual as well, uh, giving importance of their child psychology, uh, giving uh, importance of their developmental psychology. These are very important part of education system. So pre-service teacher education program tries to provide such type of knowledge and tries to develop the confidence of our upcoming teachers so that they can handle the practical situation in a proper way. So uh, the last part of our today's discussion that is needs and importance of pre-service teacher education. Why pre-service teacher education so much significant in our present day life? First of all to develop professional qualities. I have already mentioned in the first part that professionally the teacher has to fulfill some criteria because teacher has to play the many more roles in a teaching learning process inside the classroom outside the classroom teacher has to give emotional support to the learners teacher has to give academic support to the learners teacher has to give mental support to the learners at the time teacher has to consider all the problems 
teacher has to develop the quality so that tackle with the different problems that may arise in our educational situation. Therefore, professionally, the teacher should be trained. The teacher should be professional. The teacher should behave uh, as a professional way inside the classroom, outside the classroom. So, to develop such professional qualities, pre-service teacher education is very much important. Then, develop teaching competencies. As a teacher, one has to be competent. Competent in the sense, the teacher should have mastery of knowledge about the subject he or she is going to teach in front of the learners. And along with those vast knowledge of a subject, teacher has to know in which way, by adopting which method, by adopting which strategy, the he or she can present the lesson, present the knowledge so that in a proper way, in a suitable way, the learners or the students can acquire. It should be easy for the students to acquire. So teaching competency, the confident, in a confidence way, confident way, how teacher has to present the topic, particular topic, particular subject in front of the students, it is very much essential. Therefore, such competency, such, such expertise has to develop himself or herself. A teacher has to develop himself. Therefore, in such situation, the pre-service education will be the guide. Then, the next one, exhibit competency, confidence, and consistency. Confidence, consistency in the teaching profession. This is important qualities that should be present on a teacher. So, while the teacher will be confident, while the teacher will be consistent, then it will help him to tackle or to handle any situation of the teaching learning process. Then, the next one, the basic skills to face those challenges. As a teacher at a time has to face many more challenges. For say, for example, some students are very brilliant. Some students may average. Some students may very dull. So teacher has to uh, handle all those students at a time. The brilliant students, the average students, the dull student. Teacher cannot neglect those dull students by giving importance on the brilliant student. So, uh, in psychological side, uh, in emotional side, in social side, teacher may uh, face many more challenges. So, teacher has to be competent enough so that they can acquire those basic skills to handle all those challenges, challenges that are faced by him. So, such so basic skills will be provided by pre-service teacher education program to go with the practical field of teaching. Then prepares the teachers for actual teaching. So only when we passed from our college life, when we passed from our university life, only we have studied what? Only we have studied those theoretical parts. But theory and practical part is uh, different. So how we can meaningfully apply our theoretical knowledge in the practical field, in the actual practical field is very tough. Therefore, the teacher education program, pre-service teacher education program helps those teachers so that they can properly apply their practical knowledge in their actual teaching Field. So learners, these are some need and importance that we have found. The first one was develop professional qualities. Next one, develop teaching competency. The third one, the exhibit competency, confidence and consistency. The next one, basic skills to face those challenges. And the last one, we have found that uh, the prepares the teachers for actual teaching situation. This was the discussion topic for today's class and 
we'll continue this class and in the next part in part 2 we'll discuss what is in service teacher education program what are the objective of in service teacher education program and why in service education programs has its significant so till then thank you so much for attending my video class thank you